Well, happy Wednesday, everybody. Here we are, Wednesday of Holy Week. Uh, back for our uh, morning devotional. Uh, as I said, this devotional is coming out of the book, Why I Believe, edited by Adina Smith. Uh, today's Wednesday's um, devotion is written by Anne Hines. Now, we'll get straight into this. This is titled, Easter Every Day. Peter knelt down and prayed. He turned to the body and said, Tabitha, get up. Then she opened her eyes. Acts 9, 40. Most of us experience death many times in many ways over the course of our lifetime. A disappointing medical report brings a death of hope. A failed business or not getting into a preferred school seems to single the end of our plans and ambitions. The collapse of a relationship leaves us feeling that our dream of love is gone forever. But God never gives up on our hopes, plans, and dreams, even when we do. Years ago, I lost a job I loved. I fell into thinking dead thoughts. I'll never find work that means as much to me, and I won't be able to pay the bills. Yes, I believe in the resurrection, but it's not for me. The story of Tabitha speaks beautifully to those dying times. Tabitha was a kind, generous woman who made clothing for local widows. She served the lowest of the low, giving them dignity and, we surmise, joy. At our church clothing bank, I've seen people head out in a new outfit with a lighter step, some filled with confidence to apply for a job or some of the courage to make a long overdue visit to a family friend. To the widows she served, the loss of Tabitha must have been devastating. The death of a beloved friend, but also the hopes and plans and dreams, the ends of feelings as they were of value, perhaps the end of a hand up, out of their poverty or social isolation. Tabitha's friend mourned, they wept, but then they recalled God's promise of endless help and limitless power. They sent for Peter. He prayed over them, over the dead body, and we are told she opened her eyes. Tabitha was just like me, just a woman who has love to give and some gifts to share with the world. So of course, God found a way, because the dreams God has planted in our hearts God will bring them to fruition. I will lose again, and I will mourn. But like Tabitha, her faithful friends, I dare to live in hope, knowing that love and prayer and eternal resurrecting power of God will always bring me to my next beginning. That reading there brings me back to uh, what I mentioned uh, several weeks ago in a sermon. Eternal life. Eternal life is always there, and it begins in the here and the now, when we open our hearts to Jesus Christ. We live that eternal life now, not sometime in the future, waiting for death to take our body and our souls go on, but we can live it now. There are going to be many starts and stops in our lives. I think uh, I'm told that in recent years, people will change careers three or four times in the course of their lifetime. Gone are the days when we had a job for life. But each start is a new start. I always remember a saying by uh, General George Patton, the measure of a person's success is how far they bounce, how high they bounce after they've hit bottom. Many of us will hit bottom at some point in our lives. And the secret is to brush ourselves off, get back up, and get out to start something new. Let that eternal life surround us in the here and the now. The resurrection is happening every day all around us. We always praise the resurrection, but we need to remember you cannot have the resurrection without first having death. And we don't like to focus on that, but it is something that is inevitable. We will succeed and sometimes we'll fail. But every time we fail, there's an opportunity to take that lesson 
and rebuild ourselves into something more successful than we were before. So remember, that Easter day, that resurrection, it can happen every day for us. Let's say a prayer. God of continual resurrection, in times of loss and sorrow, remind me that the morning will come, the tomb of despair will be emptied, and your eternal love will restore me to a life once more. Amen.